Welcome back to the Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl Show. It's time to hang out with Rob, Mike, and Dunia. Whatever you don't want to say, they will with no chaser. Take a shot and let's have a drink. Is hashtag squad goals still a thing? Because they are. Let's go. back everyone we're back episode 148 Eight. 148 look at us go 150 should be around no i said meal for christmas so no. i was thinking we're gonna hit a holiday i don't know anyways welcome back everyone um yeah we're doing a uh I don't think, did we only do one of these before? When I was. I thought we did two. When I was doing the graphics, it seemed like we only did one. I remember that shit. But yeah, I only did two of our But I do remember it was the third episode ever, and it was what's popping on the screen. So we're just going to talk about stuff that we've been watching on these TV screens. Hopefully, some of, some of them correlate. Um, no spoiler alerts. So well, we're do that. I, don't, I don't know. You should have. You shouldn't watch it by then, because I'd be late on shit watching stuff. So, sorry if we spoil something. Um, before we get into it, um, I'm just gonna drop this disclaimer for myself. We are recording early. Um, we're recording on a Wednesday. My grandmother had a medical emergency, and I'm flying the fuck out there to get to her because that's my girl. Um, so I want to say thank you to my co-host Tequila and Cognac for rearranging all their shit to oblige me to still be able to do this and part of why I wanted to do it still was when my grandfather died I recorded that night and um yeah I think it's therapeutic so thank you anywho moving past that so we don't have to talk about that anymore how was your <laughs> half a week to you <laughs> engrossed engrossed that's a good. That's a good word. You know, it's engrossed. Okay. Well, I hope it's grossful <laughs> later. Later in the week. No elaborations. Engrossed is a synonym for for busy. Yeah, I know. And that's not basically busy. Thank you. Thank you for the grammar lesson. <laughs> How was your half a half a week, cognac? Interesting. Okay. Um, new things have expired, transpired to me. Uh, <laughs> See, you should have gave him the grand uh, lesson, not me. He looked at me. <laughs> it transpired, my <laughs> Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know when this will be posted, but. For, same, uh, same always. Hmm? Same always. Yeah. They got Why do you start off like this? You start off like this doom and gloom. I said it in the last episode. Oh, I can't. No. You remember in the last episode? I was like, I can't wait for you to watch yourself. You're just like this. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah. Just um, a lot of prayers for uh, the news family. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're going to move along. Remember, I brought it up early so they didn't yeah. forget. Does anybody care about my week? Half a week? Yes, of course. My half a week sucked. <laughs> I'm engrossed with a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Anyhow, before we get into what's popping on the screen, we have this special segment that we do. You know that segment. Joking with Kanye. Mm -hmm. I have to clarify something, by the way. What? The joke I said about the titties. Um, Whose titties? The ball sack one? Yes. So I meant to say, excuse me, I meant to say it's a good thing we get some support. Because, uh, that was we, so cool. can we get some new oh, joke? Okay. Like, you, you sound, you sound okay. damn ridiculous. Okay, anyways. Um, so, my new one was... Nobody's, nobody's even ready to laugh, because they're like, what? 
Your new one. Oh, my new one was uh, why do mermaid? Why did the mermaid change her? She sells. She sells. Uh, Seashells. Bra. Yeah. Why is she wearing? She sells. She sells seashells. Why does she sell she shirt? I don't know. I don't know because I don't even know what you're saying. Because <laughs> she moved up from the B. Shells. That was stupid, and <laughs> and, and, and you're dumb. <laughs> Your delivery was awful. No, no, no. Your delivery was, was awful. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you get from a Wednesday, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Anywho, um, so you moved up from the from beach. Beach. <laughs> Tequila's face is my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, um. So, what's been popping on the screen, guys? Um, I think there's something that we all watched, courtesy of you bringing it up. And it was a little documentary on HBO Max, um, or they call it Max now, which I'm, I don't want to call I'm going to call it HBO Max, I don't like it, it's just Max. Uh, it was, what, it was, Love, love, has, love, love is love. One. Who? Love is one mother God. Mother, mother God. Yeah. Mama God. Mama God. <laughs> Not Mama God. I know it didn't say Mama. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watched it. Though. I'm actually scared to speak from it. <laughs> <laughs> that <one> was crazy. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a documentary about this wonderful girl who used to be named Ashley. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, she decided that she liked attention a lot, and uh, yes, that what happened. That's that's what I took from it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Interesting. It's not for me to tell her story. Yeah. Watch it. I, my my what I saw is that she went to work for McDonald's, and got in management, and the McDonald's management <laughs> fucking brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's part of why that's hilarious, but part of why I'm laughing is my mom told me to watch a new documentary that I watched today. I'll tell you guys about it after. Um, and I said, oh, I just watched this documentary. And, she, and I was telling her about it. She goes, is that the girl that worked at McDonald's? <laughs> she hadn't even watched it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, Ricky told me about that. I'm going to watch that shit. <laughs> No, no, shame on you, McDonald's, but <laughs> that's the most memorable part. <laughs> she was rising and Larry. Yeah. She was a good manager. Yeah. You know? she, she, she just she, opened her mind. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of mind opening. And, and in the training Robert, videos. You know? yeah. <laughs> then her first dude. I don't even think she was in Colorado. I think she was still in the Middle oh. Earth. Remember her mom goes, if you point at the U.S. map and point in the middle, yeah. that's where we're from. I don't think she even had picked Colorado by then. I am. Yeah. The dude said he, I took a lot of, a lot of psychedelics, <laughs> and my, so my mind was open. <laughs> Made him susceptible to Mama God. Yeah. So Ashley, yeah. <laughs> uh, she basically left that McDonald's training and decided, I can train people and I'll be McDonald's. <laughs> and uh, got a cult following. Yeah. And uh, had people leaving like high powered jobs, giving her money. And um, to me, it just seemed like a frat house. That was the fucking drug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I just, I mean, I don't know what people at frat, but it was just like, I mean, all of them said they woke up, yeah. got high or drunk, and went to sleep that way and woke up the same way. So, this lady, they say she. Vomited so much from drinking so much that she had broken ribs from vomiting <laughs> so much from drinking. <laughs> well, that was later on yeah, in the documentary, yeah. but it probably happened before they just didn't say it. Yeah, the other girls weren't working, so she just became a lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was pretty crazy to watch. Do, do you have any <laughs> to say? Um, well, I have something to say about. Uh, uh, the snow next over there. <laughs> Not the snow next. 
Yeah, that was that was crazy. I'm shocked they could keep her alive that long. The way she, yeah, did. yeah, like she was. I mean, no. well, they're gone. I guess I don't know. that was a weekend at Bernie's situation like where was, they were propping her up. Yeah. I'm not big. Like sticks and shit moving her mouth, but she was still talking. She was like, I don't know. She was such a fucking narcissist. I feel like her mouth was gonna move till the day she died. I, um, I did not feel, you know, like you know, in most documentaries they tell you their backstory, and you're like, oh, poor thing. I did not feel sorry for her at all, and usually I do, especially I've got a bleeding heart for women dealing with abuse and yeah. Mm-mm. Sorry for you, blue man group. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I know that shit's fine. No <laughs> okay, Kanye did say say that because I can smell that house through the TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you could. Yeah. They were stealing your money, but they weren't like that's I was like, I would never look at that and be like, that's where I want to hang out. Whether you were like minded or not, like it looked dirty and stinky and like you were living in a, I don't know what an actual yes. trap house looks like aside from TV, but did you? Well, you know, trap, trap house got a big screen TV. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Power stereo. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they didn't have any of that. <laughs> it was like a ranch. Yeah, trap, I was like, I don't want to hear. You know, high dollar stove. Yeah, I feel house. really sorry for people that are susceptible to that. I just yeah. because I, I don't. I can't think of a time in my life where I was just so lonely and depressed, which I have been lonely and depressed, where I just needed somebody to tell me how to live my life and I don't see just change my whole views on everything that I thought of. I'm, I'm ruining it. Um, <laughs> I don't see how this lady can die, be dead, purple, <laughs> and... <laughs> Y'all saying she ascending, she's still alive because you get an electro energy of heat off of her yeah. rigor mortis body kicking in. Full of silver. Yeah, full of that silver. <laughs> yeah. she, she you know, good. me as a science person, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. no shit, yeah. she's lighting up. <laughs> but um, I was about to say, you know, it was the same thing with the um, old boy, uh, the Russian, back in the day, years ago. They filled him full of mercury and stuff because he had bo- the bo- bone eyes like uh, <laughs> Trace is great. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Ivan the Terrible. Yeah. And they filled him full of mercury to keep, you know, that's what made him feel good. Yeah. And yeah. that should should have worked for a minute and then it won't. It's still poison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it became more crazy. crazy. Yeah. He nuts. Yeah. But to be fair, that was pre thermometers you know where people know yeah. if you break a thermometer you better throw that shit the you fuck know, away. architect of uh, the, the tower in uh in russia yeah. you know he could gouge his eyes out after he built it because he said i don't want you to build anything as beautiful as this again what wow what does that have to do with um Marky mother Ranger. mother of god <laughs> Because they were filling up with the same shit. No, no she was silver. No, it was, okay. yeah. it was silver. <laughs> yeah. It was, so I don't even know what it was called. Whatever. Silver, I don't even want to tell the people. Watch it yourself. But these people don't cross, do that. cross state lines with a dead body, <laughs> propped up like a living body. Police pulled them over and thought it was just an old lady sitting in the back of the motherfucking <laughs> SUV. Um, she purple than a motherfucker. We Bang. came in Bernie's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember, they just put makeup on him. <laughs> and then, it's almost like, uh, 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 uh You keep they, re-referencing. <laughs> then they went shy about showing her. You know what I'm saying? On the back of the head. <laughs> no, she did No, I'm so. Okay, just tell the story. I got the picture in my head already. No, I, I watch documentaries <laughs> and I need to see it. Well, yeah, I get mad when they don't show they, shit. They, they show the purple way. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, and it was really sad. The only sad part was at the end, all of a sudden, it was, Mommy, I miss you. Kids, I miss you. Yeah. And you basically just re terrorized your children and your family and still died in that stinky place. Mm-hmm. Stinky. At the end, I guess. <laughs> oh, boy, hit a lick, though. Uh, Mike, Miguel. 
He he's gone for my he's fucking, he's fucking terrified. Right now, fifty four hundred thousand. He's gone. <laughs> All the laws are on. Stay in my house. Yeah, watch out. Well, so now there. you really are spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, Miguel, Arch, Arch, Archangel, yeah. Miguel, Archangel, whatever the fuck he called himself. Uh, yeah. The name ain't even good, good, good hustle. We ain't even mentioned Daddy Girl. Yeah, that's who I thought you were talking about. She I had a lot of daddies, though. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you she had a lot of, even the lady at the beginning was like, I, she didn't go along without a father. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. I bet you I'm going Miguel to this day is Wearing a pair of drawers. He's not. Yeah. He's insane. That, you know, all the rest of them are going, Mommy, Daddy, take me back. Mm-hmm. And him and and Father God Jr. <laughs> are still posting stuff and mm-hmm. hanging out. Are they? I don't yeah. follow them. At the end. It says it at the end. end. Oh, you think yeah. I follow oh, Now, come yeah. on. I Those two girls, they I'm, still post and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're back home yeah. when Mommy and Daddy's dying. Um, yeah. The Puerto Rican dude and... Uh, Asian chick moved in with each other or some shit. Fuck an old lady. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is scary, man. And what's scary is I watch it and I'm like, I know people that could probably fall for this shit or probably have. Like, they're not in my... But no, I'm just shit. like, you know, you know who would fall for this shit? X, Y, Z. And I'm just yeah, like, no that's shit. sad. It'd be gun ho. Mm-hmm. Be the first person to defend them. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, and I could, I just, I can't. I like, guess. like the dude on Froggy Mountain. <laughs> Froggy Mountain? What, the dudes from Saturday Night Live went to Oh, the I didn't watch that. The, you one, guys dude, watched the that. one dude in the I coat. I did not he pay was, attention to he that. He was gung ho for the coat. He threw the first spear through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's called Fallen the Kool Aid. Yeah. Is, was that the name of the movie? No. Because we're talking about what's Fallen the Kool Aid. No, 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 I'm saying. Was that the name of it? No. No, no. It's Froggy Mountain. It was like. What's their thing on SNL? Whatever their name is, that was the name of it. Was like Please Rewind or Please, yeah. please Something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Those three dudes that do the skits. Yeah. Oh, that was to that at all. Oh, so, God. That was so <laughs> terrible. Y'all were both laughing. Oh, well, we at certain points, and we were both kind of a little <laughs> schnickered, but, you know, the fact of the matter is, I don't like stupid humor, and I forgot what that movie, what was that movie called? Froggy Mountain. Froggy Mountain. <laughs> it was Froggy Mountain. It was so I liked bad. that movie. It wasn't horrible to me. Yeah, yeah so you're speaking for him. Yeah. Yeah. And I wasn't snickered. <laughs> and, and, yeah, snickered. you weren't snickered. Yeah. You weren't snickered. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You speak, you're speaking on, and on, on behalf You just don't remember it, but you were laughing. No, that I, I do remember. No, there were certain parts. It was so stupid. At. I started organizing the house, y'all. That's what actually happened. <laughs> but they were <laughs> personally, and I like stupid ass movies, and I was just so disappointed. I thought. No, was, I think you were snickered because you didn't sound disappointed. So. No, there were certain parts I laughed at. It was there a was, lot of parts that you laughed at. It was so dry. It was so dry. It was like old German German humor or some shit in some parts. German humor is fun. British humor. I love British yeah. humor and German humor and so do you. So I don't even I don't even think you remember it. I think you were a little okay, snicker. Well, I will I watch it again. Yourself. I will watch it again and watch it while I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's what I'll do. Watch it by yourself and take notes. Yeah. Because I didn't it wasn't that fun to me. Okay, and we're gonna agree to disagree because okay. I heard I heard the laughter, the guttural laughter. There were like three parts I laughed at. Mm, I heard one. Okay. Anywho, is there anything else that anyone's watched? Did you watch the new Julia Roberts movie on Netflix? It mm. was it the world behind us thing. No, I won't watch that. Uh, yeah, it was. It was just a lot going on, and it ended. Yeah. But. Pretty good cast in that movie. That, yeah. Yeah. Great cast. yeah, great cast and people that showed up and I was like, "Oh, he's in it." Yeah, Kevin Bacon's in it. I didn't know Kevin Bacon was. In it. You know, like it wasn't terrible, but I will say when you do watch it, I forgot it's oh, the, oh, the oh. world left behind. I'm talking to oh, our okay. listeners. Right. The world left behind is what I think it's called. Yeah, leave the world behind. That one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, the best scene. And the whole movie is watching Julia Roberts dance. 
with <laughs> with uh, Mar Marsh. I always say his name, Marshal Ali. It's like a man. But um, but yeah, they're dancing together to next too close, <laughs> and if you don't want to watch the movie, just watch that. I recorded it. I'll post it on our page. That was something. <laughs> it was the most Caucasian thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I don't even, in my heart, feel like Julia Roberts dances like that. I think she was like, let me just make it the most... You want to think that. Caucasity mm. thing that anybody's ever seen. So, yeah, check that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a lot of... There was no... You know, if you don't know moves, if you at least can get the beat, <laughs> it helps. But there was no beat, and the moves were bad. How long you gotta watch till you get to that for? Um, a long time. About an hour, like an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was another. That, that was, was another long thing. Long movie, yeah, I, I think there was five segments or six segments, but it's a two-hour, twenty-minute movie. And it's just like, what's happening? What's happening? But the acting's brilliant. But the plot's like, well, yeah, but what? I don't know. I'm not going to say don't watch it. Yeah, I mean. It, it wasn't was, It wasn't terrible. It's just maybe there's going to be a second one or something. I don't know. Did you watch something? I watched Country Wine. <laughs> Which, was there a new something? Yeah, Rolanda. Rolanda. <laughs> Um, uh, Rolanda got married. Well, she was about to get married, and her ex Anthony, <laughs> who just got married, uh, was at the wedding because they they business partners. Uh -huh. And uh, when they asked if anybody opposed to this or got anything to say, said now, he jumped up and said, "Don't do it. I love you." In the middle of her wedding, and, uh, after he just got married. After he just got married, uh -huh. yeah. So, so I haven't watched today. This oh, happened shit. yesterday, but um, uh, <laughs> is it daily? Well, it, they have four minute skits, so it's it's daily. Oh, it, okay. I mean, it's genius. You know, if you came up watching soap operas, I did. You know that's what. Saying? That's why I didn't realize because yeah. you just call it Country Wayne. Is that the name of the show? Boy, it's just Country. I know who yeah, he is. Just Country Wayne because he. Put it on this format, but it's no title. It's just all these different characters, and they had a their lives. Yeah. You know, it's, it's scripted <laughs> though. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, clearly, yeah. But uh, you know, he can put it all together and have a It'll soap work. opera. Yeah. It'll work. Yeah, because uh, each character, you know what I'm saying. So you got Mike Bliss, and he got his storyline. Then you got Country Wayne, of course, and he got his storyline. You got this Rolanda chick. Then you got Anthony, then you got Phil. Is it Rolanda or Yolanda? Rolanda. Rolanda. Okay. Yeah, and uh, they all each got their storylines. Uh -huh. But all the, the storylines kind of intertwine because they in Atlanta, yeah, small Atlanta. city. So everybody. Five people. Yeah, everybody know everybody. So, yeah. And there's more stories in there, but yeah. those like the, the main. Well, stories. Rolanda Anthony wants you. Yeah. What did well, she before, she before she got married. <laughs> So Anthony, he's a rich dude, and he he lost a lot of money in the stock market right when he got married. And you know his wedding cost two hundred fifty thousand. His wife wanted this extravagant um, honeymoon, you know what I'm saying? And he's strapped for cash, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, he got an investment with Wayne and Rolanda. Wayne bought a uh, a theater, so Wayne giving them checks from the theater. Mm -hmm. But whenever he got money coming in, whatever he got coming in, he got to use it. You know what I'm saying? To cover his bills. He got a million dollars loan from the bank just to keep his house out of foreclosure. But his wife don't know he's keeping it from his wife and everybody that he's trapped mm -hmm. for cash. And um, and Rolanda. He told Rolanda. Huh? He, Rolanda's man, she just married. He good. No, nah, he pissed the fuck off. No, he's he okay. he's not strapped for cash. He's not strapped. He's not strapped for cash. But Rolanda, she good. Because he. Yeah, she's been on her own. Yeah, she's been on her own, yeah. Girl, don't take Anthony. Anthony's she, coming in because he broke. She actually, she actually is. <laughs> she actually, I don't like the word cougar, but she's a she's an older lady. 
I don't know. A lot, a lot of gray hair, but she, she living her best she life and badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I don't know. And she was with Anthony, and she left Anthony, and they did this partner, so they still interact. And she seen him all down in the press behind the money, and he ended up telling her. So she, on the side, started trying to help him get back on his feet, and um, and he and his feelings. So okay. he messed, yeah. he messed around, kissed her. He she that, kissed him back. He wants that, <laughs> yeah. that old thing. That old thing back. Not she, just she, the yeah. old thing. Yeah, but she the old back. Thing. <laughs> but uh yeah. That's good that's good that's some entertaining ass shit. Four or five minutes kids, you know, because and be done with it, you know what I'm saying? But you're yeah. not done because you don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, until I until today. You know, <laughs> when, I, when I go home get in the bed or I'm gonna watch it. For four or five minutes. Yeah, about twelve minutes. Depends on how many skits they put out today. Oh. Yeah. Because oh. each character put out their own little skits. Oh. <laughs> but the storyline is continuous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not saying yeah. it's stupid. I'm just not going to watch it on purpose. It's the algorithm. So anything on YouTube is over five. Got to be three minutes. For some reason, it's three minutes. So they do three to four minutes sometimes. The longest one is five minutes. But, um, yeah. So basically what you're saying is we should talk three to four minutes yes. and yes. then shut it off and talk three to four minutes. Yeah. 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 Stop on a stop on a yeah. cliffhanger. Yeah. Fuck! And then yeah. clip. <laughs> Wait till next week. Just get it out. Stop bullshit. Get to the point. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Did you watch anything? Yeah. Um I watched uh watch McComb. Um, that, um, what was it? Not a, a, a thriller, a chiller, chiller movie. Gosh. I started watching that. No, you started watching Terrifier. Terrifier, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Terrifier. And, uh, so far, if you like 80s type movies and horror movies like that. I love 80s movies yeah. and horror movies. Yeah. So, that would be a good one to watch because I literally watch about... 20 minutes into it, and I was like, this is straight 80s, like, but have you finished horror it? movie. No, I didn't finish it. Why? Because you don't want to watch it, so I haven't finished it. Yeah, but I was doing stuff. You could have finished I, it by now. <laughs> well, since he brought that up, I got one. Whenever you're gonna. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, other than that, no, I usually watch um, old school stuff. But you saw and finished it. Yeah, we all know that you keep watching the same stuff over and over. But why haven't you finished Terrifier? Because you've been because alone to watch. I shit. will, I guess, this weekend. You have been alone since last weekend to watch it. Mm-hmm. Did you have to finish it? Like, I do stuff. Like I know. But where you, I'm like, put on whatever you want, and you still have to finish it. That's an awkward movie to put on. What, yeah, that I'm means it's time. fucking weird. You have to pay attention to it. You have to pay attention to it. You don't pay attention. Do you hear what he said? You have to pay attention to it. And you don't be paying attention. No, because we're do, doing something. I was not doing anything. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's yours? We well, all watched this one. Uh, damn. Recently? Yeah, not recently. But last. Damn. Not Metal Gear. Heavy, heavy Metal. What's the, the game? The video game? Anthony Mackie in it. Oh. With the clown. Oh, yeah. It's oh, Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. They re-signed, I heard. Oh, they did. Good. Season. Well, they need to because yeah, how they yeah. ended it really yeah. pissed me off. Yeah. And I'm not an Anthony Mackie fan. Yeah. Maybe. But that, that shit was corny to me, but it grew on me. It wasn't yeah. corny to me. Yeah, but I didn't play the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But once I picked up on the storyline, and um, I played the game, but not like the storyline. Yeah. Game, just, the random just driving around shooting. And that was shooting my out. favorite part of the game. Yeah. Well, at least Black Twisted Metal Black yeah. was the story. Yeah. Line, so. But yeah. nah, I I like it. I'm I'm glad they signed. I don't like the the chick that they picked for him. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. awkward. She, she's supposed to shadow. You know. Yeah. yeah. I don't like her at all. But I don't like him all that well. I don't know. I I I, I was pleasantly surprised because I thought I'd hate it. And I'm glad they have listened, hopefully. <laughs> I, I, like, I like how they use Arquette's voice 
for the clown. Uh, Twi- Twist of Metal uh, is actually a, a game I did play from one to all of them. Mm-hmm. So to me, being biased, I'm more like, I hope they fucking make this shit good. And I thought it was okay. You know, not great, but I thought it was good. Yeah. So to see maybe the rendition of it. Yeah. But I beat all of them, so. I'm going to need some of the black characters to come out. Not black as if in anybody, color, but from the Twist of Metal. If black. anybody wants to buy the original one, I got the PS1 original. Okay, all now you're over here hustle. I know, all boxed <laughs> up and everything. Anyways, you said David Arquette's voice was the clown. The For the clown. clown. Yeah. yeah, but that one, his body, of course, that's a wrestler. Raw, I one of them rest in the Yeah, of course. Who's David or Captain? Uh, twins, man. Our brothers. And yeah. That's David. Uh, 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 let's go to jail. David yeah. or Kit? Yeah. Is that Let's Go to Jail? Yeah. I don't know that movie. Yeah. He's, to me, he's. Let's go to prison. Sorry. To me, he's Stewie from Scream. So. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, good for him because he's really in wrestling, too. So maybe that's. Oh, he's like, Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. And I liked Sweet Tooth. Yeah. They played it really well. I think Sweet Tooth was played very Yeah, I like Sweet Tooth. And you know the black dude with the dreadlocks um, that was on the truck? <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. So you had the fat cop and the, and the, and the black dude. Yeah. He's from Country One. That's Ty from Country One. Oh, so oh they're going, you yeah. move it on? <laughs> they're moving on up from the yeah, four yeah, minutes. Yeah, they're going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, they were actually really funny. Yeah. That was the only game she played with me was the black, the black one. But oh, twist and metal. Oh, twist yeah. metal. Yeah, and I played Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I keep looking at you just thinking Mortal Kombat is good. Yeah. Speaking of Mortal Kombat, Tate is coming out and I'm really excited. Oh, speaking of arcade, he got this. Um, so on Netflix, where he's a detective, oh, <laughs> and they bring celebrities in that help him solve, solve, solve crime. The shit is good. It's like a short version of the, the clue. Uh, yeah, that shit is. That shit I is have to say tale. that I, I cannot take him seriously. Yeah, he's, he's not serious. He's. He, I know, but I just, <laughs> he's. He's. <laughs> He's Dewey. Yeah, he's funny Dewey as well. from Scream. It's that fucking voice, that raspy. <clears throat> yeah, he's, De- he's just Dewey to me. To be. Always fucking up shit. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, the documentary that I watched yesterday and today, uh, my mom told me about, um, and it's called, I think it's called... Love and a Knife or Bad Surgeon, but Bad Surgeon, just type in Bad Surgeon on Netflix. And it's about this surgeon who um, was considered, as they call him the super surgeon. Basically, his goal was to create organs out of, like, regular material, plastic, whatever. And he basically said he could... Um, bathe them in your st- stem cells and replace organs. Uh, and what a fucking narcissist <laughs> nightmare he was. And this was not that long ago because he just um, got like a retrial in 2023. So maybe that's why it came out. But they've been doing documentaries of him since 20. Whatever. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah. He was a liar. And he basically implanted things in people that he knew didn't work. Um, and killed them. There's only one person that survived one of his surgeries. And... Did they know he was getting sick for anything? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but but he was a top surgeon in um, 
I can't even pronounce it, but there's a, this huge hospital that basically runs medical stuff. I think it's in Sweden, um, and only the top doctors can work there, and they protected him for a long time. But he, he basically lied. Yeah, it's like a doctor death thing. Um, I, I feel like they said they had an episode, because there's a podcast um Doctor Death. That's where that started. So they, no. um, but you know, as a doctor and a scientist in general, before it's it's sad, and because you know I love my animals, you have to do trials on animals before you trial on a human being, especially a human being that doesn't need it. You know, they're not at death's door without it, and he basically lied about testing it and tested it on humans and then went back and tested on animals and lied about that and then did still more humans. In the meantime, in between time, he was doing fuck arounds on his wife and kids. <laughs> so yeah. It was it was it, yeah, it's crazy. Like he planned a whole I like this is what's crazy. I guess I'll spoil it. He planned a whole wedding with this woman, a journalist that was doing a documentary on him. They were flying to Venice and doing this, 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 he proposed to her, all these things, told her they were getting married in Italy because he was Italian and he had you know he was he's an actual doctor and knows all these languages, blah 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 blah. But he was married the whole time. Told her the Pope was going to marry them because she was confused. <laughs> and so, yeah. what kind of journalist was one that fell in love? Does she have any do about research? She what? She researched him as a doctor, and everything added up. She wasn't researching. His personal life. No, she was researching, you know, his professional yeah. shit, and he just kind of swept her off her feet. And then you get swept off the street, and you're just like, I mean, he had her quit her job to move to Barcelona with him, and he, it's crazy, but when you look at his eyes, he's a fucking narcissist. I don't Did he treat her right? Yeah. Uh, beyond the line? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. What a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of fucking journalist is that? Well, it wasn't just her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he had a whole bunch of people. Oh. And to be clear, I don't, sorry, spoiler alert, his wife was one of the first people that he killed's mother. Mm. So he killed, he killed this kid that wasn't going to die. That, that's, that was the problem is. It wasn't people that were going to die yeah. without the surgery. There was only maybe like two that had underlying issues <clears throat> and um, killed him. But she was so, he was very like, oh, I caught this and charismatic. And the families fell in love with him or the patients fell in love with him. And then after he performed the surgery, he would disappear. Like, Sounds like all, Dr. all of that. <laughs> I just said yeah. Dr. Death. That was a show on Peacock. Yeah. They're about to have a second season because it's a different doctor story. Yeah. Doctor Death is not just that. That's something. It's just a word. Yeah. But he um, he would just disappear and let the hospital, wherever he performed it at, take care of it. And he he knew he he knew. Um, but this particular <laughs> one, they that. She launched an investigation. Yeah. His, his future wife launched an investigation on the hospital, and they were like, well, you have to realize we're going to have to investigate him, too. And she was like, well, not him. And she called him and was like, I don't think it was you. I think it's the hospital and their aftercare. And then he kept calling her yeah. over and over <laughs> every day yeah. and fell in love, and they wound up falling in love, and had children together and shit and he kept her here while he kept it it's crazy shit. It's only three episodes if you're interested. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Sorry. that's crazy. But yeah. What a fucking weirdo. Wow. So, gotta be careful. 
but they were enamored. I don't even think, like, his looks weren't that great. Usually narcissist dicks aren't that great. I think they were just enamored by his brain, because I do think he's smart, and he, he's a, he is a good surgeon, but not, yeah. He was telling her that they were, he was, you know, secret doctors with the Obamas and the Clintons and the Trumps. <laughs> Be careful out there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Flying all over the country doesn't make you uh, safe. <laughs> or those shopping sprees don't make you safe. But anyways, so that's probably the last thing that I watched that I can think of besides reality TV. And none of y'all know anything about that. Yeah. I'm watching uh My cousin, the story about my cousin. He's a, you brought it up. I forgot the name of this. You brought it up before. Bass. Bass. They didn't name it that, though. It, it's not the Bass, isn't it? Damn, that's my cousin. He's a, the first black uh, marshal. U.S. marshal. Lawman Bass Reeves. Oh, terrible. Yeah. Still good? That shit is good, man. You acting like a bass. <laughs> 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 that could just mean so many things. <laughs> <laughs> kind of stubborn. <laughs> I think I started it. It's giving Yellowstone the black, and I liked it. Yeah. I'll, I'll get further into it. I'm just trying to get through Lawman Bass Reeves. And they brought they brought a second season of rap shit. I don't know, it's something on Max. About these two females out of Miami that's um, trying to start a rap career. That shit is pretty fucking good. And 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 the new season of Power Raising Canyon. Is that episode three? I think that shit is that's that's the best power spinoff episode Raising Cane. Tell them about Fifty Cent Store. Yeah, that's that's the best one because it, it go back into the eighties and and early nineties, and I remember the the clothes and shit like the nostalgic. <laughs> so yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the best one. I'm, but I watch them all. But yeah. I'm waiting for Power. Did he do it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch that one. Yeah. Because <laughs> did he do it? Did he do it? <laughs> did he did it? Did he do it? <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Yeah. So, uh, Curtis, get on that one because I'm ready. Make it, make it a whole series. <laughs> yeah. I, what I, what's on my to watch list though is the new expendable song four. I just ain't gonna pay twenty dollars. Me too. Me either. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'll pay ten. Yeah, you I'll pay, pay ten. <laughs> It'll be on Prime in <laughs> weeks. <laughs> for okay. free. Okay. <laughs> Let me know when it's there for free. Yeah. I do want to watch yeah. it. Yeah. I like all the expendables. I think yeah. they're cool. You like all the expendables. But Curtis is on it. Sorry. I don't want to keep calling him Curtis. And then we watched, everybody watched, y'all finished the beat, right? I was about to say, that was uh -huh. the one I was going to bring up was the Gen V. The Gen, Gen V. Yeah. 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 It was. I liked it. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it, and I'm it was, surprised. It was funny. It, yeah. it, it kept me interested because um, the comedy comedy behind the, the drama. No. Yeah. So. Well, The Boys is pretty fucking funny. Yeah, The Boys is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I don't, you can't do a spin off and not make it funny. Yeah, and, the, and the powers that everybody had, <laughs> just weird. <laughs> Like this girl with the water. Was it water? No, with the blood. She cut her hand. And, yeah. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> yeah, so she was like a uh, old girl from Mortal Kombat. Um, Scarlet. Scarlet, yeah. The one I beat you. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then the one girl that, that, that get in your head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Miss, miss, I can't. I have to wear gloves. Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought we talked. Yeah. Maybe we talk about it together. Who knows? Yeah. But I liked it. 
I don't like how it ended. Yeah. At all. They had the ship changer in there, or the shape changer, whatever they call it. Yeah, and yeah. cameos from the boys. Yeah. Which I liked. Yeah, that's it. Was, yeah, I they, think they, they ended up pretty well. They ended well. Carol. Pretty good. Um, oh, I bought one. Did I buy it? Yeah, I bought it. Equalizer 3. It's really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it was good. Damn good. Started off slow for me, but I was trying to do other things and watch it at the same time. You probably watched it four times. I watched it just twice. <laughs> okay. Well, not even twice. So I watched it and I'm like, this shit's slow. You know, I was doing something. Uh-huh. So I started it over and I just sat and watched it. You know, it you didn't fall asleep. No, no, it was not even late when I watched it. Yeah. It was good. I liked it. Did you like it? Yeah. I liked so- it. Yeah. I don't think I've watched a bad Denzel movie in my lifetime. Maybe different. Well, yeah. I don't know. Can you think of a bad Denzel movie? Mm, not really. I mean, you know, I can't think of one really. Okay, well, then I said what I said. I can't think of one. They're all good. Okay. Uh, at this point, then, we should go around the room on this. Do you, can you think of a bad Keanu Reeves, uh, Reeves movie? Whichever is Adam's favorite. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I, don't, I didn't like all of the Matrix movies. Okay. Fair enough. But... I like the stupid ass movie he did, Knock Knock, which most people are probably like, what the fuck? Is that movie? <laughs> did yeah. you watch Knock Knock? No, but he made some bad movies. Yeah, he's yeah. Some, yeah. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what I'm saying. Because yeah. I, I thought about. I never even watched Matrix. I yeah. Thought, I thought about um, first thing was uh, Bill and Ted's. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I think. Excellent Adventure 2, the but second it's, one. I, it's not the bad for one. people who get high. I don't know. But yeah, okay. I don't think he's... Just name, name when I say Denzel, I'm not thinking of Keanu. No, but I'm, sure. I'm okay. saying name it. Okay, Mike. Name Mike, an, a, an actor, actor actress. You thought When it's just an actor, I just call them both actors. Yeah, whatever. Well, um, that doesn't have a bad movie. Do you have one? <clears throat> Can you think of one? That doesn't have a bad movie? Yeah. Yeah. Samuel Jackson. No, he don't have a bad movie. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have a bad movie. A bad movie from Samuel and Jackson? Yep. Which one? I'm a little man for furs. No, he I says he doesn't. That. that was his oh, answer. Yeah. Snakes on the motherfucking plane. It <laughs> wasn't bad <laughs> because, <laughs> because yeah. he he handled the movie. Yeah. Like I I don't think that was a bad decision for him. So let me if you me. think of that movie, what do you think of? There's snakes on this motherfucking plane. plane. Yeah. <laughs> now I can see if it was no snakes on the plane. Yeah. There were. Like, yes, they were. Yeah. They were there. Yeah. 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 They were there. Yeah. 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 Now I will say when I say that I'm not saying the movie wasn't, but if you handled the character well, Brad Pitt. Tell me a bad movie. Bad movie. Mexican. That wasn't a bad movie to me. I like the Mexican. You like uh, I don't like the title. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, We're in a different environment okay. now. Yeah, I like the Mexican. You did? Yes. Okay. One of my favorite love quotes is from that movie. Oh, well. How do you know when enough is enough? You, you know, okay. I remember. Yeah, I liked it. You can, does anybody have another one? A bad Brad Pitt movie? Cool. And he jumps in movies like he was in fucking Deadpool for a half a second. Great movie. And he, it was funny. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Bullet train. I didn't I still, that, that's, I still haven't finished that shit. So <laughs> I didn't think it was bad. I didn't, I watched the newest one where he's on a train now. The Bullet, Bullet train is the new one. On Netflix. The newest one? Yeah. With Bad Bunny? Yeah. Okay, then I'm not thinking that one. Is it? I think. Oh, I think I'm, I'm confusing my. 
train and money train. Bullet, bullet train. Okay. No, I yeah. haven't watched that one. That, that's okay. it's horrible. I haven't seen it. That yeah. shit is horrible. There's like so much shit going on in that you can't follow it from. Yeah. Okay, I'll throw my names out there now. George Clooney. I'm gonna say Batman. Whatever. Hey, well, you should have never heard Batman. You should have never heard Batman. Sorry. Yeah. You should have never heard Batman. I like him as a person, but you know, sorry. I gotta look. I can't say he was bad at Batman. Well, it's my opinion, but then no, yeah. George okay. Clooney is not like a. What was he bad at? He's just not a top tier actor. He was bad in ER. Okay, what was he good at? Then? <laughs> so, what was he good at then? George Clooney? Yeah. Oceans, all of them. Yeah. From Say Oceans? All of the Oceans movie, George Clooney is the top tier actor in all of those movies to me. Are you? And, I, yeah. and Brad Pitt's in them. So that's a, a yeah. high accolade okay. for me. Okay. Did you act like you're trying to stump me and then you get. No, he is, but no, I, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to stop you. Not no, I like George Clooney. Brad Pitt in the fucking movie with uh, Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum, where he just jumped in and jumped up. It was fucking hilarious. Brad Clooney made some good movies, though. He does. The Perfect Storm and America. Oh, The Perfect and Storm was good. his worst one, though. I feel. <clears throat> ER. Yeah, it, that's, that's, that's a movie. Yeah, that's a movie. That's a movie, though. Okay. No, it's what's probably the screen we talked about, um, TV and movies. Okay, okay. And they've all been on... South Park. So. He was horrible on South Park. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That yeah. was the writing. And Jack Frost. Oh, I, mean, um, I, I never I, saw I, that, so yeah, that was the worst. No, he did some good movies, though. So what are you... Yeah, movie? George Clooney's dope. Yeah. Were you mad at him and... uh the hospital movie giving never had cancer, you got cancer, you got cancer, you got cancer. Is that what? What? No, I'm saying is that why George Clay is bad? On ER? On ER. That's not a movie, that's oh. a TV show. I know. No, I just... And it First of all, I thought the show sucked. Sorry, Mommy. That was my mom's <laughs> show. I watched it with her. He was the worst Batman. He did too, Batman. Batman, Batman. Batman and Robin. Man, I did yeah. Again. Yeah, they kept him on real long because yeah. he was hot shit then. He was in the flames. The multiverse one? The, the newest one, 2023. Yeah, yeah the multiverse. Yeah. Okay, the all camera. Um, you know, I I really don't want to talk about him in a bad way because he has um, been holding on for a long time um, with throat cancer and dealing with a lot of shit. I can't think of a bad movie prior to knowing that happened. I can just say my favorite movie with Val Kilmer is My Saint. Minus Heat. Minus Heat. Yeah, he, I mm-hmm. liked Heat too, but The Saint is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, I just remember him being almost frostbitten there. Elizabeth, I think her last name was Shu or, or one of the two, had to jump on him to defrost them. I was like, oh. well, she saved I would have done the same, but I wouldn't have been there in the cold ass. But yeah, now I like Val Kilmer. He, he was good. Yeah. How about how, how about, about how about we do that second? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down too. Yeah. Down too. Yeah. It's not my turn though. It's the last time. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a segment to do, guys. We go to our second segment of the evening where we tell you 3,000 things about us using this magnificent book titled 3,000 Questions About Me, Me Being Tequila, Me Being Cognac, Me Being the Girl. Tonight, Cognac's going to randomly select the question and ask it. 2016. Could you ever be a living organ donor? Yeah. Could you ever be a living organ donor? Living situation, but sure. What is, 
What does that mean? When you answered it, what, is, what did it mean? To you? Like, you get somebody a kitten, and you can still live with you got. You can still live with Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry, I watched too many movies, guys. Or be so. a bone barrel <laughs> trans. To, to, hurt the, shit hurt. to the listeners, yeah. when I heard it, I watch a lot of movies, and I'm like, so, like, they keep you alive <laughs> and keep your organs? Like, you're just, you're dead. <laughs> you're just keeping your organs to donate them. Sorry. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If they, if, they, if they want one, if I'm living, like, like you said, like, if you need one, sure. You need one, sure. Not Tom, Dick, and Harry, no. But I am an organ donor. Or not. <laughs> you know, they start knocking you off for shit. They might not want mine. Mine might be shitty. So I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I would love to help someone if I can, living or dead. I'd rather them use my piece of shit shit as opposed to the doctor I was just talking about creating <laughs> plastic shit that doesn't work. <laughs> Mine will work for a little bit. <laughs> you? Yeah. They don't want shit. They don't want them. No, because you just keep burning them and pulling them. <laughs> That's my point. Nobody wants my shit. Look at your hand. Show me your hand on the camera. I did. I you did? Way, yeah. yeah so, I'm look, sure. See? All that shit he's talking about his hand? Then it got worse. Told him you keep putting that shit in the air. That's okay. what happens. Your hand. It made it worse. How did I make it worse? You know. Okay. You know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Um, love you guys so much. Please, um... Sorry, guys. Um, keep me and my family in your prayers because um, not only do I need my grandmother to survive and be in my life, I also have to make it past the airlines during the holidays. <laughs> so, um, if if the boys jump on on Saturday and ask for a GoFundMe, it's because I fucking need it. Because <laughs> I mean, gotta rest. <laughs> love you so much. Um, grandmother, I love you. Thank you. Bye. you ain't got no You that's it for this week's episode of Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Follow us on all the social medias. Leave your comments and reviews. Until next week, keep safe and keep your squad close. Thanks for hanging out.